I'm Michelle here at Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Back with another thrift haul. Hope you enjoy. Salvation Army for a little while and they were marked $5.99. I was waiting for yellow to go on sale and hope that they were still there and yellow did go on sale and they were still there so I picked up two of these lunch and snack sets for $5.99 for the both of them. They were made by Federal. The pattern's called Yorktown. A lot of people refer to it as thumbprint. You can see it has a gorgeous iridescent um color about it that's what it is it's iridescent yorktown they also came in yellow crystal white this iridescent and a smoke pattern six dollars for the two sets i'm going to ask twenty dollars for the both they're 1950s Stop by the Positive Thrift Store the other day, and when you go to that store, they'll let you know anything marked beyond a certain date is half price. So I think when I went in, um, it was anything marked October or before that was half price. I saw this Verde Pyrex bowl shoved way down in the bottom. It was marked three twenty-five. I can't believe it had been sitting there for that long. Marked five dollars. I paid two fifty for it. it. Doesn't have a top, but. You know what, they're fun to use for a chips and dips or vegetables. That's what I use them for, little snack serving trays. Fair Day was produced between 1967 and 1972. This is a one and a half quart opalware casserole. Fair Day is a little confusing. Um, as it did come in solid colors, there were varying shades of green, almost a yellowy green to an avocado green, in addition to the square flower pattern you see here. And the square flower pattern was marked Verde on some of the boxes, so they stuck with the Verde name. It was actually borrowed from an earlier pattern by Pyrex called Autumn Floral. Autumn Floral came in a darker autumny color and it also came um, in a white and green. I'm gonna ask $10 for the casserole. This is kind of a mix and match set that I put together. I bought these two little four ounce hand painted federal glass juice tumblers, um, half price day at Salvation Army. So I paid 60 cents for the two glasses and I picked them up knowing that I had this anchor hocking carafe. It's missing the lid at home. The federal juice glasses, the name is orange. That's the pattern name, date to the 1950s. The anchor hocking, which does have the little anchor on the bottom, just too hard to show you. Also called oranges, dates to the 1960s. I thought they'd make a cute little set. I'm gonna ask about $12.50 for the three pieces. I paid $5, found this at the Salvation Army, and um, I'll pay $5 for a good piece of Fitz and Floyd and this is a good piece of Fitz and Floyd. It's classic in the Enchanted Holiday design. It's a 10 inch handled bowl. Um, only dates between 2007, 2008. It's in pretty good condition. Has a very minor little paint chip there. Needs a little cleaning, but overall, I think it was a really good purchase. In this condition with the little bit of chip and you know maybe a few very, very minor imperfections there, I'm gonna ask $30, which is really a reasonable price because I see them selling um, for the 40 to 45 dollar range. Salvation Army, yellow half price. It's marked 3.99. I paid $2 for it. It is federal. The pattern is called Petal. Actually, it's called Smoke Iridescent Petal. They produced this beautiful pattern between 1952 and 1979. I want to show you the back. It's got a beautiful, just beautiful colorings in it. it has no chips and no cracks. Also came in crystal, um, a carnival iridescent smoke, as you see here, an Aegean blue and a sun gold. I paid $2 for it. I think I'm gonna ask 12 for it. Blue was the color of the day at Goodwill, and I picked up these two gorgeous Hazel Atlas 
Daisy Claire luncheon or snack place. I paid um, four dollars for the both sets or 1950s and I want to show you the on the back here. This is all pretty much plain or not raised except for right here which I think might be where you would put your utensils and it does of course have the the um, circle for the cup. The back is where all the action is here. This is all raised and this is raised also. I did want to mention that when I went home and did some research, this is not the original cup that came with the set, although I actually like it better. Uh, I see a lot of people selling this cup with the daisy plates, so I'm not 100% sure if they made two different cups, excuse me, with this set. The original cup or the cup that I see that came in the box with the set, it was kind of petal shaped almost like this, um, a little ornate. Asked twenty dollars for both pieces, both sets. These Nelson McCoy mugs were in the Positive Thrift store, and actually, I had seen them there before. But the last time I was at the store, I had bought so much I didn't have any more money to buy any more. This set of six was half price. I paid four dollars for all of them. The pattern is called Spice Delight, and if you look at it. It's very similar, almost identical to the um, Corel Corning Spice of Life pattern, which I think they kind of made to coordinate with that pattern. The Spice of, oh, excuse me, the Spice Delight pattern, McCoy, um, was produced in 1975. They were out of Roseville, Ohio, the Nelson McCoy Pottery Company. They were actually purchased by the Lancaster Colony Company in 1970 and Lancaster Colony owned them for only a short time, 10 years, 1985 to be exact, and it was sold off again. If they were all in perfect condition, because these mugs, I don't see them out there very often, they're hard to find. If they were in perfect condition, I think I'd ask $50, but they do show some signs of use, so I think I'm gonna ask $30 for the set. picked up this very old, I would say, antique custard cup made by Pyrex at the Salvation Army. Yellow was half price, so I paid 30 cents for it. That back stamp dates it between 1915 and 1925, and I always like to pick up antique, that's what I'm calling it, Pyrex when I can, because it's not out there a lot. This custard cup was one of the first of the 12 pieces made by Pyrex. They were originally sold as a set or I suppose you could buy them individually, but this was one of the original pieces and they were sold in hardware stores to begin with. I like to share little stories whenever I can and there's just so many um, to share about the Corning Glassworks Company because it's been in existence for almost forever. And so I'm gonna share this one with you. They started out manufacturing battery jars, light bulbs, other utilitarian items. And that glass was not called Pyrex, it was called Nonex, it was heat resistant used uh, mostly in railway lanterns, other, other objects also. They had a scientist who worked at Corning, his name was Jesse Littleton, and he was a physicist and he had a wife named Bessie. One night at dinner, Bessie was asking him if the Nonex could maybe be used for baking. She did a lot of baking and she was saying that her ceramic stuff would shatter, the metal didn't really um, cook evenly. So her husband, Jesse, went back to the store, to the office, and he sawed off the bottom of two battery jars, brought them home for Bessie. She baked a sponge cake out of it, cooked fast, cooked evenly, and the rest was Pyrex history. Positive Thrift Store had all Christmas items, 50% off. I didn't really see a lot there that was vintage, but I did kind of fall in love with this cross point or needle point um, little piece here. So I picked that up for 50 cents and I'm just going to hang it up on my wall. This was in the Goodwill. It was marked $1.75. Just thought it was really cute. It's in great condition. It's a Hallmark lidded mug. Let's see right here. I'm glad we're friends. Best bunnies. Just I thought it was really cute. It's from the 1980s. It was made in Taiwan. Paid a dollar seventy-five for it. They sell for around ten dollars. This was at the Salvation Army. I paid three dollars for it, and the reason I picked it up was because I had picked up the exact same one. Um, where was I? In Sebastian a while ago, 
I, w I wouldn't have picked it up then, but my friend told me I should, and I'm glad I did because that one sold really quick. This is a trivet or a hot plate. This tile with a wood surrounding, obviously. It is nine and um, a quarter inch around. It was made in Japan. It's called Chicken in a Basket. It says right there, 1982, designed by Taylor. Well, designed by Wynn, and I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but it's NG. So this was produced or designed by Wynn Nig, and, or NG, and it was made by the uh, Taylor and NG Company out of San Francisco. It has a little nick over here in the wood. If it was in perfect condition, they sell for, I've seen them sell for $25 and up. I'm going to ask 10 for this one. Saw this Hazel Atlas um, measuring cup on these shelves at the Salvation Army. It was marked $2. thought that was a little bit, um, a, kind of a lot, but I picked it up because I was very interested in it. You can see it's a measuring cup, but it almost looks like a mug. It has no spout to it. They date to the 1940s, early 1950s. When I got it home and started researching it, I realized that this is the bottom half of what was once a nut chopper or an onion chopper. And the choppers were really cool. They came with different colored tops on them. Without the top on it, I'm, I'm going to ask about $8 to $9 for it. I picked up this glass Christmas mug at the Goodwill. I paid 75 cents for it. It says made in the USA on the bottom, although I'm not sure exactly who made it. It's 12 ounces. What I loved about this the most, other than that it's adorable and in good condition is, you can see right here, it says by Jacqueline, age seven, Save the Children. I worked for Save the Children for quite a few years at their headquarters based in Westport, Connecticut, back in the, the late 70s into the early 80s. And they used um, artwork. This is all artwork done by kids around the world. And I remember mostly, I don't remember seeing a mug like this, but I know that they used um, a lot of their designs that the kids did on their Christmas cards. So it kind of meant a lot to me. I picked this up. I am not going to keep it though. I'm going to ask about $6 for it. I believe it dates back to the 1980s. Picked up another hand painted ceramic birthday girl or actually she's a flower of the month girl has it left in a uh, label on the bottom flower of the month series like i said i believe they date to the 1980s this one's in perfect condition on this side and perfect condition on that side usually i find them they have a chip or two here or there this one does not they sell for about 12 dollars thanks as always for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share uh, leave a comment, most important thing, and subscribe if you already haven't. I went out yesterday in the torrential rains, and I'm glad I did because at one store, somebody was, I think it might have all been from one person, because I picked up some really great depression wear stuff I can't wait to show you, amongst other things. So have a great weekend, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye. It's war. Ha war. The are there, there. there is so much information <coughs> and so many <coughs> bunnies. And <laughs> pieces can't wait to show you. Until then, we'll see you.